What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and uh, today I have a pretty cool topic. You know this topic right here has probably been the number one topic that everyone's been asking me. You know I've had so many people, I, I can't even tell you how many people have had, asked me about this topic and I'm finally getting to talk about it. I'm not going to whip out a sheet of paper and start um, you know asking or you're talking about all these things i want to make it really simple on you guys make it really 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 simple i just posted a video a few days ago and uh, i read a lot of comments you know and a lot of comments were like this you know i want to get my first sponsor in bass fishing um how do i get sponsors how do i go about doing that how do i work my way up to that and you know it's really it's really more self-explanatory than you think and um that's why i'm going to talk about this today and you know i could go up to all my sponsors and say what are you looking for but i i, I know what they're looking for and um, I mean, I could do a video on that as well if you'd like, just more a little in depth, but for the most part, I know what most sponsors are looking for. And uh, I know what you could do to definitely benefit, benefit you in your fishing career and get some more sponsors. Um, so to start off with everything, one question I want you to ask yourself, why do you want a sponsor? And, and you need to think about that. You need to ask yourself, why, why do I want a sponsor? whether it's free bait or you just want to have someone on your jersey or you just want to start off in bass fishing and, you, and you'd like to get a sponsor um you know there's there's many of um, reasons why you may want a sponsor and so to go about this on my perspective on what to do social media is the new generation this generation is the best generation that's i'm thankful enough to be in this generation and social media is so big in this generation I know all you guys going to high school, you'll see all these kids out on their phones before class. I've been there. You'll see people texting while driving and they're scrolling through Instagram while driving. You'll see people laying in their bed before they go to bed, just scrolling all through. I know you guys do it too. We know. We all do it. I do it myself. And uh, social media is so powerful. There's so many people on there. And what I would like you to do, there's many different ways. I, I All right. Back in the day, when I wasn't around, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of pro bass fishermen that had a lot of sponsors. They had a lot of big sponsors. They had a lot of big money sponsors, which is awesome. You know that's great. They never had to use social media. They used their results to get sponsors, and that is great. You know that's amazing. But how about you not only use results, but you use social media as well? That's double the kill right there. If not, ten times. Social media is so big. Only so many people are watching all these big tournaments like online and going to them. And if you figure out about this tournament, how are you figuring out who won this tournament? You're figuring it out on your phone on social media. It's so big. And so this is what I want you to do. I want you to go create an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, and if you want to do videos, a YouTube. All right, those right there. Then you can branch off even more and go to like Periscope and all, all those other ones. Um, so do that. I really suggest Instagram. I love Instagram. You know, it's starting to get a little weird. Instagram, how they're doing things, they're starting to fade towards how Facebook's doing things, which is a little, a little weird. Facebook. I'm gonna talk about Facebook first. Facebook. You know, is a lot of I guess you could say some of the older crowd in a lot of businesses. So that's a whole different audience. Instagram's a lot of younger kids, a lot of older people, and everyone's on Instagram nowadays. And uh, that, that's a really good platform. YouTube, you know, you're expressing, you're posting videos, but honestly, you don't even have to jump into that right yet. I would just start off with Instagram and Facebook. Twitter would come along. You, I mean, I do everything from Instagram personally. So Instagram is the main platform. Um, so build, build up, start posting your fishing pictures, go out fishing, you know, post, post a fish fish picture that you caught that day or if you didn't catch a fish you know post a picture of your rod and reel or post a picture of the water post a picture of a bait on your deck or your boat or post a picture of you fishing off the bank say i love pond fishing who, who likes pond fishing engage the audience once you start to post those pictures start using hashtags to start you off with start using bass fishing fishing um you're using a chatterbait hashtag chatterbait fishing um tag those companies so you use a chatterbait to catch that fish tag z-man if that's the company start reaching out people will come along the way you know people people will start to get on your page once you build up a decent amount of following to where you feel as if you have a good amount of people watching you 
you need to create a resume not only stating you know oh i want this term i want this term what else have you done have you done some seminars um have you done some like little charity events put all that in there what's your grades put your grades in there put your achievements in there put what what you have done that, that's what you need to put in there and when you go up to a sponsor i prefer going up to them in person if you can get to any of these expos icast uh, bassmaster classic that's the best places for you to contact these companies or you can just contact them online but you know most of these people get messages saying uh could you sponsor me which I mean, I could, but why? That, that's going to be the first question. Why would I? That's their first question. I, my, what I have built isn't just a personal thing. It's a business. Kicking their ass is a business. And I, so I, I get what all these businesses say. And when you go up to those companies, the first thing they're going to ask you is, what can you do for me? All right? That's why you need to have a resume built with everything you've done. You need to have your social media on point. Say I post five times a day. I'll tag you in all my posts. I have this amount of following. This is how many people are getting reached out to each post. All these people are commenting on my stuff. You know, I'm making videos. I could actually do reviews over your products. I could go use your products. I could do cool stuff with your products. But why would they sponsor you? That's why you gotta come to them. You gotta be prepared. That's the biggest thing you don't ever, and there's one thing you don't want to do in the fishing industry. One thing is all these companies are all, they all know each other, all right? You never, never, ever need to break a bridge or burn a bridge, whatever you want to say. Never, never, never burn a bridge with a company because they all know each other. So just be kind and polite as you can. If you go prepared to these, you know, where you're talking to them or emailing them, whatever you're doing, if just you have to, what, all right, say, say you have Akuma over here, rod and reel company, say that they're going to give you 20 rods and reels for free. Um, but what are you doing for them? I believe truly in my heart and what I've experienced with all these companies, if they get, I'm just using this as an example, if they give you $2,000 a month, you need to give them $4,000 in advertisement a month. You need to give them double of what they're giving you. They will respect you a lot more, your name will get bigger in the industry, and you know that's the best thing that can happen. Not only, and this is the thing, once you get one of those sponsors, guys, I promise you, once you get one of those moderate big name sponsors, your name will spread. You will you will start. You will notice it's going to open doors. Like I said, never burn bridges. It's going to open doors into all these other companies. You know, I, I'm with this rod company. That's my first sponsor, um, and then all of a sudden they start talking to you know the soft plastic company, or they start talking to Strike King or somebody, and then hey, you should go check out this kid. Boom, you're in the door. So put the effort in before you get your first sponsor or getting some of the bigger sponsors. Put the effort in, create a resume, build a platform that you could promote them on. And I know you guys can do it. I know you can do it. Don't say you can't. Don't say, no, you know, we don't have the platform that you have. I don't care if you don't have the platform that I have. I know you can and I know you will do great and create a good platform. If you put forth the effort and you do 100%, you will do it. I know you can. I know you can. But, you know, I could go really into depth with this. Like I said, I could talk to my sponsors about it and say, what do you think I should state in one of these videos? But I, this is one I just want to keep around 10 minutes, you know, short and simple. And uh, to, to the point where this is everything you need to really go get sponsors. And that's some of the important tips that I would suggest you use to get sponsors. But, you know, overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, seriously. I hope you guys take these tips, go apply it, um, and hopefully go get some sponsors. Look, I, I love seeing the community grow, guys. Go create, you know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, fishing page, and stuff. And go, I love that. I love that. I love seeing some of the younger guys. Uh, you know, you're, and this is the perfect time. To, there's no rush. No rush. There's one thing: is patience. Be patient. I've been doing this for six or seven years. And it's finally, it's, stuff's finally starting to come on. Just be patient. You,
if you look at all the millionaires, they never they they didn't wake up one day and become a millionaire. It took them, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 years. You just got to wait. And this is the perfect generation for it. Uh, especially most of you young guys watching me, um, 20 year olds, 25 year olds, 30 year olds, even 40 year olds. You're not too young. Heck, if you're 60, you're not too young. If you have the drive to do it, you can do it. You know, it's just, it's there. If you have the drive deep down in your heart to do it, you can be 75 years old and if you are able to get out there and do it and you have the drive and you can get everything done, then go do it, you can do it. I know you guys can do it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below on what you guys think about the stuff that I said. And hopefully this can help you out to get some sponsors and everything. This is one of the number one questions that I get asked. And I'm so glad I can sit down and finally like express my opinions on this. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys the next episode.